This is a common response that I get from many Christians. If I'm taking people away from Christianity, where am I leading them to? This comment was based on a video where I spoke about how Africans are leaving Christianity. And the question was asked, leaving Christianity to where? Why does there have to be a where? Why do people have this insatiable desire that they have to replace one religion with another religion? That in the mind of a Christian, that the only place if you're not going to heaven with their deity, then the only other place you can be going to is hell. But then they want to ask this question, well, where are they going? Because then they want to invalidate whatever religion that is. Many Africans are returning back to their ancestral religions. They're going back to Ifa or whatever tribal religion that their ancestors worshipped before they were forced into Christianity or Islam. That is their prerogative, just as it is your prerogative to be Christian or any other religion. There is as much facts for their religion as there is for yours. But when the question comes to me, where do I lead people? I merely lead people to think, to think for themselves. Although I may ascribe to the hermetic laws and the laws of the universe that they, if there is a deity, then that creator deity is simply the all. The all is all that it all all that it is. It cannot be no more nor any less. It cannot be taken away from nor can it be added to. That the all is simply intelligent mind. Not intelligent mind that needs our worship. Not intelligent mind that uh, needs us to fear it. Not intelligent mind that intercedes in the lives of man by causing them to have genocides and subjugate women or give rules for slavery or for uh, incest and cotton and silk mixed together or any of these things that tell that are in these stories that, that tell stories this all simply exists it exists on a pole and that pole is to the far right of every situation and the far left of every situation the all is all encompassing that would be both good and evil both hot and cold both moral and immoral whatever the pole is the all it is all it is within the mind of the all and we are built the same way as much as you have good is as much as you have evil as much as you have morals is as much as you have immorality the key in understanding the hermetics when talking about the pole is how to polarize yourself to one side or the other and minimize the swing of rhythm of going back and forth. You see, the good, the, the, the person who's the goodest can also be the worst. But polarizing means that you keep yourself to the side of the best that you can possibly be, that you raise your vibration through the power of cause and effect to maintain yourself to the right. Many people maintain themselves somewhere in the middle. But only the adept, the masters, maintain themselves to the right, the far right. Some of you are doing this in your finances. You're maintaining yourself to the right. Some of you are doing this in your love for your spouse or your family, your children, maintaining yourself to the right. But in other areas, your health, you may be maintaining yourself to the far left. You see, the poles are different. Only the true, true master is complete in every aspect of the pole to the far right. It is what we all strive for. It is what we all should strive for. This is where I lead people. To strive to be the best variations, the best versions of yourself. To rise above the iniquities of man to rise above culture, to rise above race and ethnicity, to rise above gender, and to simply be the greatest spiritual being that you can possibly be, to elevate your consciousness so that you elevate in your consciousness when you leave this corporeal form. So where do Christians, where do non-Christians go? 
they go to whatever causes them to vibrate at a higher rate. That's the goal. But many simply shift from one religion to another religion. Some religions have higher vibrations than others, but for the most part, if it's a religion based on the fear of some deity who interjects itself in the lives of man and requires all this worship and traditions and patriarchies, then all they've done is made a lateral move. They have not elevated, but yet just, yet just shifted from one God to another God, from one belief to another belief. Instead of looking inside themselves, and only through looking inside yourself can you elevate your consciousness into the spirit realm, into the spiritual plane of A, B, or C. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.